the land which is rightfully ours. Years from now, my people will be forced to live in mobile homes, on reservations. Your people will wear cardigans and drink highballs. We will sell our bracelets by the roadsides. You will play golf and enjoy hot hors d'oeuvres. My people will have pain and degradation. Your people will have stick shifts. The gods of my tribe have spoken. They have said, do not trust the pilgrims, especially Sarah Miller. Gary, she's changing the words. And for all these reasons, I've decided to scalp you and burn your village to the ground. Oh! Player. Oh, he's a special child, but he needs friends. He needs friends like this? I don't know what women before their abortion procedures. I found out that I am pregnant. Hey, I'm pregnant. <laughs> and... So, oh, I'm pretty early. I'm not ready to have children. Yeah, I'm gonna be having an abortion tomorrow morning. I'm lucky because I, I feel completely I feel completely like comfortable with the decision. I'm supported by everyone. I'll be by your side the whole time doing a procedure here and the whole time here. I just want to share my story. To show women that there is such thing as a positive abortion story. Yeah, cool. So, 
good. I'm done. Yay. Yep. All right, we And a half after the procedure now. I feel like I talk to women all the time and they're like, of course everyone feels bad about this. Of course everyone's gonna feel guilty as if it's a given how people should feel about this, that what they're doing is wrong. I don't feel like a bad person. I don't feel sad. I feel in awe of the fact that I can make a baby. I can make a life. I knew that what I was gonna do was right. Because it was right for me and no one else. I just want to share my story. Motherfucker, you can kiss my ass. We must not be surprised at any other Why bitches are like barren or sterile. Yeah. A lot of them, huh? Oh, yeah. They're having fucking abortions. A million a year in this country. A million a year. The old folks are dying off. The baby boomers, that was their peak. Was after World War II was their peak. In 19, since 1950 to like 1980, half of their population been cut off, dead. For 45 years, the only be like 4% of the population. And those 4% will just be slaves. We're gonna live long enough to see white men become slaves. It's already happening. Yeah, they're slaves at Walmart. They're slaves at all these fucking punk ass jobs that they only get paid fucking minimum wage. But they got their entire life, which just sucks the life yeah. out. Still behind. He's still behind. Can't keep because up. They're, because they want. They want materialism. They they chose their master. It says in the Bible about choosing your master. You'll love one and hate the other. It's like they were made from materialism. When El Shaddai, the Lord of Armies, made Adam from the dirt, he was made out of material. We're, we're, they're after materialism because they come from materialism. God's children were manifested in the first six days of the universe when it was manifested, spoken into existence. my mind so even in this country there are already no go zones in in um, Michigan where it's all brown people whatever fucking thing the white people are they're just following death anything that they think is cool and popular we got to do the exact opposite because their road is to the road of death and destruction <laughs> to the hill where it's good and that right there is being using strategy and strategic because the whole wherever the white people are and even if they're black or Mexican or Indians and they want to be around them white people that means that they've adopted their culture of death and they're chasing after the same thing as all the white people are and if you chase after the same thing all the white people are and adopt their culture and chasing materialism, you're on the road to death. And will be put to death just like they're going to be put to death. So all Mexicans got to move back to their barrios where the Mexicans are. All Chicanos got to adapt and, and, and move to where the Mexicans are because we are Mexican. All Indios need to move where all the brown people are at. All Negros need to move where the Negros are at. And Mexicans and Blacks and Indios all need to come together as one people because we are familiar. That's why there are barrios because 
for that same freaking reason. We've always been, which is good, we've always been separated. Mm -hmm. Whites over here, blacks over here, east side was the blacks, the Mexicans were the north side, the west side, you know, the part of the south side. We've always been separated. Always, always. For the longest time, the north side, the minorities I mean, north, have become north, the majority. At Jennifer least when you look at one year olds in the U.S., that's always been Fox gringos, News and CBS you know? have details from a new West report from the census and a brand new report detailing a changing demographic in America. For the first time in U.S. history, Caucasians account for less than half of babies born in the United States. From July of 2010 to July of 2011, non-Hispanic white babies accounted for just under 50% of all newborns. Minorities came in at 50.4%. A writer for the New York Times says this moment was coming, but no one knew exactly when it would arrive. Now that it has, though, it signals a milestone for a nation whose government was founded by white Europeans and it wrestles mightily with issues of race, from the days of slavery through civil war, bitter civil rights battles, and most recently, highly charged debates over efforts to restrict immigration. An analyst for CNN says that big issues of these members is the influx of immigrants from Mexico over the last 30 years. They also point to higher birth rates among minority families than white families. But the analyst adds, these numbers aren't necessarily a forecast of our That one's there to Does this really tell us what's going to happen in the future, 10 years, 15, 20 years down the line? Is this a steady march of minority groups becoming bigger and bigger and the white groups becoming smaller? We just don't know. It might be and it may not be. But a sociologist tells the Washington Post, this is the first sign of a big change. The population is literally changing before us with the youngest replacing the oldest. This is the first tipping point. These kids are the vanguard of the change that's coming. Whenever you're in the mood for an icy malt liquor refreshment, reach for a dead gringo. That's right, dead gringo. Malt liquor for that deep down gringo taste. Bake them off, Dead boy. gringo! Dead gringo! Yeah, yeah, dead gringo, dead gringo, yeah. Uh, twist the cap as I bust this rap, uh, dead gringo malt liquor got the taste to spread, yeah. but you won't find it in a body or a nope. ghetto, dead gringo, it's just for the weather, yeah. rednecks, yuppies, and skinheads love, uh, to toss back a 40 yo and chuck a love. Hey, what's this? Tastes like grandma's moonshine.